Welcome to this video. I'm going to show you guys some of the features that are in the new High Sierra update as well as the performance of this Mac, which is a late 2009 polycarbonate MacBook um, on the operating system on the Beta 1. And I'll show you some of the features and yeah. Let's get let's get going. Cue the intro. Okay. So here we have my specs. I've got the 2.26 gigahertz Intel Core to do a model with 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM and then NVIDIA GeForce 9400M with 256 megabytes of VRAM. I currently have this Mac hooked up to a 23 inch 1920 by 1080 or 1080 p display um, as well as having my built-in display which is a measly 1280 by 800 basically on the web like it usually does if it can't figure out something um, other than that animations seem pretty smooth what do we got? They're a little laggy because of QuickTime, but that's okay. Um, Final Cut Pro works. This video has been edited on Final Cut Pro. So, I mean, and in 1080p on this card, which is an amazing thing. I tried to get um, Blackwake to run, but it caused the machine to crash. So, games are a no-go, but that's pretty much a given with this GPU. I can run, I was running, I can run Final Cut Pro with um, like 10 tabs of Safari open with OBS streaming at the same time. I did that in one of my streams that I did, that I have on my channel right now. But I can do an example for you here real quick. One, two, three, four, five. I'll do it with five tabs in Final Cut Pro. And we're also doing quick time in the background. So that's kind of indicative of what kind of performance you get on this OS. If I take my desk tour video that I have uploaded on my channel. I'm going to re-edit that for you guys real quick. Let's just open up intro. I'm just going to drop that there. I'm just going to take this and drop that there. Okay, here we have um, a timeline kind of put together now in Final Cut and we're going to wait for it to render or import and render those thumbnails then I'm gonna um, export a master file so it should get on that once it's done importing the media yeah I can see it's taken a bit but you can see here I can go through my Scroll pretty nicely, looking at Micro Center's page. Um, we got. Oh, shoot. That was the. Next. Save. So now we're. I think we're currently sharing. So we're taking it from the, the timeline and we're putting it into a single file that I can upload to YouTube, which I've already have uploaded. I already have the file, but you know, I'm just doing it for demonstration's sake. Oh, shoot. You can um you can actually see here that we have the new iPad on there, I guess. But websites load as they would on any other Mac. You can actually load up one of my YouTube videos.
a little just to a video, which is actually what I'm rendering right now. But you know, it's already up on YouTube. So you know. Just waiting for this. It's obviously taking a bit because I have so many tabs open and I'm rendering Final Cut Pro. So if I if I stop Final Cut Pro close. Canceling background tasks, which is what I wanted to do. Um please comment like if you guys have a Mac that's old like this. Um talk about how it was running on Sierra or like any of the specs you got or anything like that really. I mean I just wanna hear how people are doing with their Mac OS. See. It doesn't do too well with 1080p footage, but or 60 FPS footage right now. But pretty much everything else works pretty good. I have my um. Okay. Okay. Here I am, both copying and duplicating files. Okay. Duplicate. I didn't take long. Now we're going to take all of these and we'll drag them to the desktop. Take all of these, drag them back. Take all of these, duplicate them. Take all of these, take them and drag them. So we can tell that this obviously does work, but I think if I go and I look, probably can't duplicate it much more since the three files together were like 35 gigabytes. Now I've got like 10 of them each. Oh yeah, that, that's, well, it's just, just gonna, Let's just please don't forget to comment and subscribe.